Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is five till 11 on this beautiful evening in Miami, Florida. And we just got back from dinner. And uh, then we stopped at Walgreens on the way home because I wanted to get some bar soap, like big bar soap and a loofah, because I forgot to bring a loofah with me, and have to have a loofah, and then I don't really like the shower gel that they have here, so I got some Harry's uh, shower gel, because I like that shower gel, but anyway, so, um, there's like a Walgreens and CVS, like right across from us, which is really, really convenient. We went over there and got a bunch of snacks, and um, we got a bunch of Diet Dr. Pepper, I'm not trying to eat healthy on this trip, let's just be real clear about that. And then Alex got some White Claws to take to the beach. And then um, we got like chips and snacks and stuff like that. Oh, tonight I also got these three candy bars that I've never heard of before. Oh, what are they called? I can't remember. I've never heard of this brand before though, but I got three candy bars. The reason I got three, I was just gonna get the one that was like coconut because I wanted to try it. Which is so weird because when I was growing up I didn't really like coconut. But now I'm kind of like turning into a coconut convert. So anyway, um, what are the candy bars called? I can see them sitting in there. Um, but I got these, I want, they start with a C. I wanna call them crunch, but they're not crunch. It's something I've never heard of before. So, um, but anyway, so I got these three candy bars. I thought, well maybe I'll review them all down here, we'll see. I actually, um, last night I, I started making a list of like drama videos. Well, I started with like Peter Dust stuff videos. Um, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a hotel room tour of the hotel room that we checked out of this morning. And I did that one, but actually I'm gonna post that tomorrow. And then I was like, um, at some point do like a hotel room tour of where we're staying now. And then um, I have a new project, a new idea. It's real simple. It's like if you if you liked when I was watching the movie series on um, my Peter Dunstuff channel, which I think I'm gonna actually bring back. Um, I'm gonna bring that back. But this is kind of a new idea, a fun idea, a weekly idea that I'm gonna do on my Peter Dunstuff channel. So something fun. And then I do actually think I'm gonna talk about um, my weight loss journey while I'm down here, which is not good, but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it while I'm on vacation. You know, I'm just gonna enjoy myself and whatever. So anyway, um, but I made a list of those, but then I start making a list of like all these drama videos that I could make while I'm down here this week. It was funny because when we first got down here, I was like, okay, all this week um, until we leave, I was like, I'm gonna like, for the, you know, three or four days, I'm gonna film the videos and whatever. And then when I get back, I'll just like full start up again, you know? And I was like, this morning I woke up and I was like, if I don't film that many videos, I don't film that many videos. It's like, you know, whatever. You know, I go back and forth with this. But it's weird because usually on vacation, um, I film like a drama video, like almost like every day, every other day or whatever. And I came up with a list this last night and this morning, um, Alex is setting up the Apple TV so we can watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, I came up with a list of like seven or eight drama videos. I and mean, they're not all drama, but like drama topics. Like, of course I have like a James Charles thing, Jaclyn Hill thing, Toddy Westbrook thing. But then I have like a video I want to do about sobriety. I have a video I want to do about pride. I'm almost kind of thinking about saving it until June, but it's like pride month for most places. But well, pride month is all summer long, but I think I might just do it now. And then I have another video just addressing a lot of different things I've been thinking about that I want to do. That one's the first one I'm going to do. Then I came up with some purisms videos that I was going to do. Um, so yeah, so. And of course vlogging, you know, and then when I get back, I'll be, you know, we're not going to be down here forever, so I'll be, you know, vlogging full force when I get back, but, so this, uh, so last night was our last night at Ultra. We got back to the hotel room, and actually, um, Ultra in, ended last night, it was supposed to end at 10, and it ended at like 10, 15. I just want to say, I got so many DMs from people saying that they really appreciated me, like, um, like recording all of the, the DJ sets and stuff like that. I try to do as much as possible, you know, I was like dancing a lot and whatever. 
but I wanted people to kind of like be able to experience what I was experiencing. I know there's people that like follow me on Instagram and watch that stuff. I actually got a couple DMs. I think there was actually a comment maybe on my blog too from a couple different people not really understanding like <laughs> what like a DJ festival is or whatever, which are typically called. Um, so it's like EDM, it stands for electronic dance music. And there's a lot of different genres within electronic dance music. Like I'm definitely more like house music, which is like like deep bass and some vocals to it. So like when I first started listening to it, like way back in the day, before I got sober, there was this singer in Chicago, her name was Daje, and I remember listening to her, and she was like one of the very first house singers I ever listened to back in the day. But like the Bucketheads were like EDM and stuff like that back then. Alex likes a lot of small DJs that I've never heard of. So people were asking me, they're like, is a DJ just like somebody that spins a record? Well, that's very much like what you think of like at a wedding or whatever, but I don't really know how to explain like what a DJ does, but a DJ takes other music and mixes it up with their own style. And sometimes they do, like they have singers that like they work with or music that they come up with the music themselves and they mix their own music. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. So last night we heard, like Alex likes a lot of these like, I wouldn't necessarily say smaller DJs, they have a huge following. Like there's a stage called the Resistance Stage at Ultra and it's where like Carl Cox usually is every year, but I think I talked about this the other night, but I did my hair tonight, what do you think? I was gonna wear a baseball hat, because Alex wore a baseball hat. He's like, I'm doing it real casual to dinner tonight, because we just walked over to Lincoln Road. Lincoln Road's this area um, in Miami where it's like six or seven blocks, and then um, it's just like closed off, so you can't like, you can just like walk down. People walk their dogs. There's tons of restaurants on either side. We ate at an Italian restaurant tonight. I'll tell you about that in a second. So anyway, we went to the resistance stage for a long time last night, and um, we heard, I knew I, I wasn't gonna remember what these DJs were. The first one I really, really liked, I can be able to open this, hold on. The second one was called Camel Fat. <laughs> Who was the first DJ that we heard at the Resistance stage last night? Yeah. Art Bart? Yeah, Art. Art Bart or something like that. That he was real. It was key, or I don't know. All these people had like 20 people on stage. So I couldn't tell if it was like one person or 10 people or whatever. I always say like Rufus to Soul he, and I'll just be like, it's not just a he. I like I never know if there's like one person or 10 people. I don't even know with Rufus to Soul, but anyway, like Nora and Pure. I know it's Nora and Pure. So yesterday we went over there really early. It was actually nice in Miami yesterday. It was like sunny and stuff. And Nora and Pure went on. She's my favorite DJ of life. And she was on at three, no, she started at four o'clock. She was supposed to be three, 3.45, she started, they like moved the times because Friday night closed down early, started trying to fit people in. And so she went on at four o'clock last night. I'm looking at my swimsuit that's drying out here. I'm afraid it's gonna fall off this chair. I'm actually sitting at this table, you guys. So it's like real, this is like the perfect vlogging, vlogging spot. You're like sitting on this like table out here. I'm sitting in like a little chair. But anyway, little couch behind me on the patio, that's real nice. So anyway, um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. Okay, so we walk, we went and watched Nora and Pure. Now, I was really excited about this because we've only seen her one other time at Ultra. Alex was saying we've seen her all these, all these other times. And I was like, I don't remember seeing her all these other times. I think I've only ever seen her once at Ultra. And it was when we first got there and she was in this, she was in this uh, stage that's like, it's like the live stage, like right when you get there. Now they play a lot of that. I don't like that stuff. That that's too dancey to me. It's too techno for me. I don't like that stuff. Alex likes some of that stuff, but I don't like it. So anyway, um, her set was so it was interesting because somebody commented on my picture and they were they were like, "There's not a lot of people there." Well, that was at four o'clock. <laughs> By six o'clock, there's like eighty. I think there was like they said there was a hundred thousand people there yesterday. I mean, hundred thousand people is a lot. Um, and so. We listened to her, her set was not, it was not great, it was not, she didn't play a lot of stuff that I know, and, which is whatever, you know, but like, so she was doing two sets last night. So we went, we heard her, and then we stayed for, 
Okay, she was from four to five. Oh, that's when we walked over and we um, listened to that art art or art park or I don't know who they were. And then they played for like an hour and a half and we listened to, that would have been five, to, oh, no, that played for an hour from five to six, I think 5.15 to 6.15. And then Camel Fat, they were really good. I'd never heard of them before in my life. I'd never heard of any of those people. They were really good. And we were kind of like in this, it was interesting because there was like three couples that were like, we were all like around this table on this, like it's like in the VIP section, it's like raised. And it's one couple, they were like sitting next to us. It's like, the guy was like probably 65. He smoked pot the entire time. I and mean, he was so stoned. He was like, just like doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> and like this polo shirt, a pair of cargo shorts. He was so stoned. His wife was like dancing the whole time and stuff like that. You know, it's so funny because I, and you, you would think that you would smell it more down there. I actually, you don't, I've been to other festivals where you see like lots of drugs and stuff like that. You don't really hear at Ultra a lot. I mean, people drink, but you don't really see a lot of that. Um, I drank the first night on Friday night. I drank, was it Friday night or was it Saturday night? Yeah, like yesterday at most, I had one Red Bull when we got there. I usually only drank Red Bulls like at festivals. Every once in a while, like this summer when I was going to the gas station, I was getting those Dragonfly ones. I liked those. I'm not, I used to love Red Bulls back in the day. I don't drink them as much as I, I mean, I, I don't just drink them at music festivals. I drink them, you know, sometimes at home too, but very, very rarely. I actually found one in the refrigerator a while ago and I was like, I didn't even know that I had this one in there. It was just like a sugar-free run. That's usually what I drink. But at festivals, I drink like a different flavor ones and try them. Saturday night, that was the night. Saturday night was the night that I drank like, I think I had like three Red Bulls and we came back to the room, we got room service and I got, I had two Diet Cokes and I could not fall asleep <laughs> to save my life. <laughs> um, and it wasn't because I was having a hard time falling asleep. I always can fall asleep in hotel rooms, <laughs> like typically, you know, not always, but I typically can. We came back from the beach today and we lay down in the bed and I said to Alex, I said, I'm gonna like, um, I called some people on the phone and checked in and stuff, and I was like, I'm gonna lay down for a little bit. I was actually thinking about making a drama video. I was like, no, I'll just wait till tomorrow, probably. Uh, I mean, we're not gonna be down here that long, so I wanna enjoy the time that we're down here, you know? So I was like, I'll just film a drama video tomorrow or whatever, you know? And I'll just wait and vlog tonight. And so I, um, I don't know how he got that set up so quick. But anyway, so he comes in, and he was laying out here and he, he came in and he was like, okay, I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay down too. We were out, I mean out. Like we were supposed to get up, we were gonna leave for dinner at eight o'clock. And I had set my alarm for like 20 after seven to take a shower. We had slept for like an hour and a half, two hours or something like that. And I said that, cause we went to the beach and then we, after we went to the beach, we came back, well, I'll tell you this in a second. So, um, we laid down and we were out and I rolled over and he was like dead asleep. And I said, do you want to go to dinner or do you just want to stay in the room? And he was like, I don't care. And I was like, no, let's get up. Let's get ready and go to dinner because we're in Miami. We're on vacation. We're not gonna be down here that long. Let's enjoy the time that we're down here. Something like that. He's like figuring out the lights in the bedroom. Um, so anyway, uh, so yeah, so, Last night we went, and so we heard them. Uh, so there's these three couple, two couples in front of us. They were all like my age. This couple in front of us, I think they were like exactly my age. Alex said, he goes, they were like hitting on you. And I go, I never, to be honest with you, I never notice when people are hitting on, on me, ever. <laughs> I don't think it happens. I don't think anybody finds me attractive. I don't think I ever get hit on. I really don't. And Alex is like, they were like looking at you the whole, like every time they would turn, they were looking at you. Well, what's so interesting, because we were talking about them tonight. We were talking about people that, like, People at Ultra were not like super friendly Saturday and Sunday night. I was kind of surprised. Uh, like years before, people are super, super friendly. I mean, you would try to talk to people and they just kind of like turn the other way. People were not real friendly. We waited in line last night <clears throat> to get into see Calvin Harris. He was the very last person that closed. Fantastic, unbelievable. I'm so happy that, Alex said we've never seen him before, but I think I saw him. I think Alex went over to the resistance stage the year that we came was, I think it was the first year we came with Melissa and Jason because Dead Mouse and I think played and then Calvin Harris closed and I think I heard Calvin Harris or, or vice versa and I heard him that year. Alex had never heard him before. He was unbelievable. We danced for an entire hour and 15 minutes. It was unbelievable. But we waited in line for 
like an hour. Okay, first of all, two side things I just want to say. So we were standing in line last night, and you to, to get into where, like, is in front of the VIP section where you can dance, you have to wait in this line, right? And so they were like, I mean, one person came out, one person went in, they were, like, at capacity. And so we were waiting, and we were waiting, and there was, like, this guy and this girl, there was this guy and his girlfriend, and he was, like, real tall and blonde. He had, like, kind of longer-ish blonde hair. Not long, but, like, longer-ish. And... And his girlfriend, and she was real cute. She was like shorter. And then this girl that looked like, they looked like models. And they were like mid-20s. And so I kept on looking at this guy. I was like, God, he looks so familiar to me. But he was standing with his back to me because he was talking to his girlfriend. And Alex was talking to this tall blonde girl. Well, what happened was she ended up going to the bathroom. Well, when she came back, all these, and then right as she came back, the guy left to go to the bathroom. And so... She had been, we had been standing in line. I mean, it was like an hour. We had waited like an hour to stand in line to get into this thing. And all these people start going crazy. They're like, she wasn't in line, blah, blah, And we were like, Alex and I were like, they've literally been in line. And they were like, we were here a half an hour before they got here. We're like, they've been here the whole time. Like, they've been, they just went to go to the bathroom. Like, that was it, right? And so they were so thankful. They were so nice. Well, I'm like down, like <laughs> bending down because I'm like, my legs were killing me so bad by that point. Thank God I wore those shoes and those shoes were so comfortable. And I keep on looking up at this guy, and I'm like, now, if you know me in my personal life, I think everybody looks like somebody, right? I mean, I would, it's a server at a restaurant, somebody that works at CBS, just standing in the elevator, I always think somebody looks like somebody, right? So I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, oh my god, he looks so familiar to me, and I cannot place him, right? And it's not just how he looks, it's his mannerisms too, right? And it's his smile. He had like this kind of like funky, I don't really know how to say, just kind of like this goofy smile, right? And I'm looking at him, and all of a sudden it hits me, and I'm like, oh my god, this is Micah Plath from Welcome to Plathville. And I stand up, and we had all been talking about like where we were from, and he said he was from the South. And they, the girls, and his girlfriend said, she goes, I'm from the Midwest, but he's from the South. And he goes, well, I'm kind of from the Midwest too. And he goes, and she goes, well, he lived in California for a while. And I'm like, and I'm like connecting the dots, right? So I get on like Micah Plath's Instagram. He hasn't posted anything since like October or September or something, right? And I'm like, and I look at him and I go, where did you say you were from again? And he goes, he looks at me like spotted, right? And he goes, the Midwest. And I go, is your name Micah? And these two girls like look at, look at me. And I, he goes, what? And I go, are you, are you from Micah Plath from Welcome to Plathville? And he just like looked at me, he goes, what show are you talking about? And the girls were like grinning from ear to ear. And he's like, what is the show called? And the girl, the tall blonde girl goes, welcome to Plathville. Like confirming it, right? And he goes, what is it called again? He's like Googling it. He's got like this smirk on his face. He's like, welcome to Plathville. And I look at Alex, I'm like, and Alex is like, because he, Alex is thinking, you always think somebody is somebody. Well, I took a picture of him because they were dancing right in front. They were so friendly to us, so nice. They were, if it was him, he was really nice. His girlfriend was adorable. They were so sweet to each other. And this girl that he was with, was she was so nice. And then I started doubting myself. I'm like, maybe it's not him. I'm 100% sure it was him. I'm like 100% sure that it was him. So then, today, after we checked in, we're in the hotel. And we're going up in the elevator. And there's this girl with these big sunglasses on. And she's in the elevator with us. And I can hear her, like, talking on the phone. And she gets off. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's Maddie Reese from Southern Hospitality. Which would make sense. Somebody commented on my vlog. And they said it's James Kennedy down there from Vanderpump Rules. Well, Mad Maddie Reese from Southern Hospitality is, um, she is a DJ. And, um... She's a she's a, t a, a DJ and James Kennedy is like comes on one episode and he like trains her and so she like the elevator like stops for somebody else and they like get out and she like turns and she looks at me and she smiles and I look at her and it's like her floor like is the next one and she like turns and she, or she's like talking to Alex she says something to Alex and she like turns and I go can I ask you a question? She's like, yeah, and I go, are you Maddie Reese from Southern Hospitality? And she gets off the elevator, steps off the elevator, and she looks at me, and she tips her eyeglasses, her sunglasses down. She does this on the show all the time, right? 
and she goes, um, I've never seen that, rea I've never heard of that reality TV show, and she smiles and she walks away, and I, went, I was like, I never even said it was a reality TV show. Now my husband is convinced that I have like lost my mind and I think I'm seeing reality TV stars everywhere, but I'm telling you, we met Rebecca Plath from Welcome to Plathville, he's watching uh, Watch What Happens Live. Oh, Ricky Martin is on, who is that with him? You know you get you know you, you know when you feel like you're older is like when the people that like you grew up with are like I'm looking at Ricky Martin he still looks good but he's like he looks older um, I don't know who that oh it's, is that the girl from Bridesmaids what's her face what's her name okay. is she from Bridesmaids <laughs> is that the girl from Bridesmaids what's her name Kristen Wiig yeah is that Ricky Martin hmm. he looks older doesn't he. He said he is. <laughs> I'm gonna ask one. Do you still think he's good looking though? Yeah, he is good looking. So anyway, I don't watch Watch What Happens Live as much as I used to. So we're getting ready to watch RuPaul's Drag Race in a second. So anyway, so, okay. So we went to, we saw Nora and Pure, and then we saw what Art Fart or something. I don't know, they were good, whoever they were. I loved them. They were very funk. They were funk, funk music the whole time. They were so fun. You know what I just realized? I think I deleted the hotel room tour on here when I started this. Oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> no hotel room tour tomorrow. I always go into my memory card and I delete everything. I think I deleted it off of here because I filmed that it was on my camera. Oh well. Well, if you see it tomorrow, then you'll know I didn't delete it. Should we stop it and see? Hold on just a second. No, it's still there. Oh my God, it's still there. <laughs> okay, so we went and saw Nora and Pure. I mean, it was a long day. Saturday and Sunday, both days. Um, somebody said something about does Alex dance the whole time? I danced the whole time. I stand like in between like sets, but like seven, yesterday I clocked in at over 20,000 steps. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And, um, and half the time I didn't even have my phone on me. So Saturday and Sunday, we did seven hours both at Ultra. It's the longest I've ever done going to Ultra. Um, and like I said, I can tell a huge difference being thinner and wearing different shoes made a world of difference. Oh my God, Alex, he has two blisters on his feet. He wore comfortable shoes, but he has two blisters on his feet. I wore those black Nike running shoes and they were fantastic. I was like, these are my festival shoes from now on. Okay, so we saw Nora and Pure. She was, it was just okay. Alex loved the set. He was like, it was a daytime set. I'm like, I don't know what that means, first of all, okay? It was just okay. And then we saw Art Fart or whoever. They were good. I liked them. I might download some of their music. And Camel Fat. Then, okay, and that was where the couple was. And they were from somewhere in Europe because they had like, um, I want to say they were like French or something because they, I mean, they weren't like English and have English accents. They were some, they had like thick accents. And she had like, like white blonde hair, like short, like my cut short. And she had like this long dress. It was like this sheer dress, it was real cute. And um, and then she had Chuck Taylors on and then she had like this necklace thing that went like over her breasts, like over the, it was really cute. And then he had on like uh, a Hard Rock Cafe Ibiza t-shirt and like these black jean shorts. They were like such a good looking couple. I mean, they were so good looking. And it was funny because at one point, Somebody like came up and offered him or offered her like a joint and she like took a hit off of it and was like thanks. She had sunglasses on the whole time, so I don't know how Alex saw that they were checking me out. But the guy at one point was like, right when we started getting there, we were like dancing with them and stuff like that. Because we were like danced with them the whole night. And he was like, Do you want a drink? He like that's how I heard his accent, because he was like, man, he was like, Do you want a drink? And I was like, No, I'm good, or whatever, and he like, you know, fist bumped me or whatever. So straight people, they fist bump, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, they were so friendly. They were so friendly. They were so nice. Beautiful couple. That's what I was telling Alex. I was like, Did you see that couple that we saw the res resistance stage, I said they were so, they were like so perfect looking together, first of all. I said, but they were like the nicest people we met the whole night. So they talked to us the whole night, whatever. And Alex was like, yeah, they were nice to you because they wanted to sleep with you. I was like, what are you talking about? He was like, they were staring at you. I mean, Alex never gets jealous, first of all. He thought it was hilarious. He's like, I think it's hot. He was like, they thought you were attracted to me. He was like, they were staring you down the whole night. I was like, there's no way. But anyway, they were super, super friendly and really, really nice. And so they left like halfway through the second DJ and then we didn't see them the rest of the night. And then, um, 
we walked back over because Nora and Pure's second set was at 7.15 at the smaller stage. So we went there. Well, that was when she started playing like Diving with Whales and On the Beach and all these songs that I had like listened to her for years. At that point, my legs were killing me. I was like, I have got to sit down for 10 minutes. We sat down for 10 minutes. Well, when her like set was finishing up, Alex was like, we need to start getting in line if we want to hear. It was Armin Van Buren. And then I thought it closed at 11 last night, closed at 10. It was Armin Van Buren, who I've, we saw him in a bar in Miami years ago. I have headphones, Armin Van Buren headphones that he gave to everybody that came to this thing. I don't even know how we got into that thing. But anyway, I literally have a picture with like my, my, he's like touching my hand almost with Armin Van Buren. I also have one of those from the guy, I don't know, this isn't very trendy to say that anymore because he's not like a good person anymore, right? Adam Levine from Maroon 5. Alex got these front row tickets. I could care less to go see it. I'm not like a huge Maroon fan five Maroon Five fan. I, there's a couple songs there's I like, but anyway, I have this picture where I'm like leaning up like that. This is like ten years ago, probably longer than that. He was in Indianapolis. Anyway, um, I remember the opener was this woman. She was great, a singer, and she sang this song called "Shark Out of Water" or something. I still love it. Like on my iTunes, I love that song. Whenever it comes up, I love it. I think my hair looks cute tonight. I use that stuff that I reviewed. I really love that stuff. It's called Tribal Champ. It really worked well. Um, especially like in the blowing wind, like my hair did not blow anywhere. <laughs> so, then we got in line, that's when we got in line, and then we we got on, we waited in line an hour, so from eight to like nine, and then we got out there like nine, right as Calvin Harris was going on, got good places to stand. We stood there. I drank. Oh, that was the other thing I was to say. I drank water. I had one Red Bull when we got there yesterday because I hadn't had any caffeine or you know coffee or anything. So we got there early. I thought I had one Diet Coke left from the night before we got room service, but I drank it that night. And so, because I'm like real into that show, Fellow Travelers. I have two episodes left, and then I'm done with it. So I stayed up late and watched it. It was like writing all these notes on my phone about videos I want to make and profound statements. I want to say wisdom of the world. And so, um, so yeah, so we say we watch Calvin Harris. Fan he was fantastic. He was fantastic. And then we were like walking back to the hotel, to our hotel. We stayed at the Kempton Epic in downtown Miami, which is like really, really close. There's like a lot of hotels around there that are like really cute hotels. Like the Omni is literally on the ground. Alec really wants to stay there, so we might do that next year. But the Kempton Epic is downtown. It's a beautiful hotel. We, for, I think it was 25, it was between 20 and 30, so it was like 22 or 25 dollars extra. You could upgrade from like a regular room to a, a junior suite. You guys, the junior suite had like extensive windows overlooking the city of Miami. It was, this room was gorgeous. For tw like 23 dollars, 22 dollars extra a night. I couldn't believe it. And so, it was like sixty dollars a night if you wanted like Bayview, and I was like, I'm not paying sixty dollars for Bayview. But we had like views of the Intercoastal, and it was gorgeous. Oh, so okay, last night we get home, so we hadn't eaten at all yesterday, and so we get back to the room. I didn't want to get room service again because we got in the past two nights, but I was like, I have to. So I was gonna vlog because we got back early, and I thought, no, oh, we were packing up our stuff, and so I was like, I'm just gonna pack up. I think it's a. Uh, is he in that Palm? Palm Royal that everybody's telling me to watch. That's what it looked like. That Palm Royal. But anyway, so I think I'm going to watch that next after Fellow Travelers on Apple TV. Or I might wait for the whole thing to come out. But if not, I'll watch Apple's May Fall. Somebody said they didn't really like it. They said it wasn't that good. I read the book by Liam O'Yarity and I love the book. And Tanya said it was great. Tanya and I usually like kind of the same shows. So, and Caroline said it was great too. So, Caroline and I definitely, the same book, same shows. Um, today I listened to an hour of The Firm on um, on the beach. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, <laughs> I have to listen to books when I get back because I don't think while we're down here I'm going to be able to finish uh, the books that I need to finish. But anyway, but I listened to an hour of The Firm. It's not as good as I remember it being back in the day when I listened to it or when I read it back in the day. I don't remember which one I read that I loved. Street Lawyer, I really liked. Pelican Brief, I feel like I read. I should go back and read the Michael Crichton books because those were so good when I read those back in the day. But anyway, so yeah, so we got back last night. We were packing. I was like, I'm just going to pack up my computer because I had my computer on the floor, like open and stuff. I was like, I'm just going to close it up, pack it up, whatever. I'll do a vlog tomorrow night. So that's what I'm doing. And then we ordered room service. 
And then Alex laid in bed and watched a Friends marathon. I was like, I can't do any more Friends tonight. He was like, don't you think it's so funny that every time we stay in the hotel room, we always watch Friends on TV? And um, I was like, yeah, I was just saying something about that in my vlog the other night about how we watched the last episode, the first episode. I go, what season are we on? Alex knows exactly. He's like, we're on season three or something like that. I was like, okay. So we watched it all we ate with the swivel TV, but then I was like, I'm gonna watch it. So I took a shower, then I watched Fellow Travelers. Okay, let me just tell you what happened. So, first of all, I just want y'all to know, okay? <laughs> Thank God I had some extra money set aside before everybody's like, oh, Peter, so like, you know, what did they, when I was in Arizona with the, the iPad, they said I was a rich person vlog or whatever. <laughs> Even though these beauty influencers literally, like, buy everything in the entire world, you know, and they're not considered, like, rich people vloggers or whatever. So, we are, or so, I'm, like, watching Fellow Travelers last night. So, I'm coming in. I have my reading glasses, and I have this Diet Coke can, and I have my AirPods, okay? And I have them sitting on top of my iPad. So, I have an iPad case, right? So, I have them sitting on there, and I'm carrying them inside. Well, the door to get inside is really heavy. So I open the door, and as I open the door, the air pad case, I don't know why I didn't put it in my pocket, flew into the floor. And so I'm like, damn it, what did I drop on the floor? So I go inside, and I put the stuff inside, and I'm like, oh, it was my air pad case. So I go outside, and I look on the patio. It's like 3, 3.30 in the morning, okay? So I go look, or 3 o'clock in the morning, because I went, to, I was getting ready to go to bed at 3 o'clock, because we had to get up today at, um, well, checkout time was at noon, so we had to get up by like 11, so I was like, that'll give me, you know, eight hours of sleep. So I go out on the patio, and I'm like, now Alex is up. He's like, what happened? I go, I can't find this air. There was one AirPod, AirPod in the case. You guys remember I just lost AirPods, right? When I was, I think it was when I was flying or whatever, was that the iPad? I don't know, I'm not good with this stuff at all. So I need to like get one of those cords with them. So, I'm going out there and I have the light like on my phone and I'm looking everywhere. The patio is not big, right? And I'm like, where the F is this air pod? It's got to be out here. There's no way. There's a crack underneath the patio. Like, do you see how this little ledge thing is? Okay. There's like a let, like, you know, glass thing there. There's like a crack like that big underneath there, okay? So I look over the edge and I see something way down there. Okay, on the re it's like the residence pool. It's not like the pool pool, it's like the residence side of the pool. And I look way down there and I'm like, I think I see it down there. And so I take a picture, like it's like scroll way up and take a picture. I'm like, yeah, I'm almost positive that's my AirPod or AirPod. And I'm like, thank God I can save it, right? So I go down to the front desk. I had to get a security guard to go take me out because the residence pool is locked. Take me out there. The guy was so nice. I mean, it's 3 it's three fifty in the morning by this point, right? The guy's so nice. So I'm like, I, I, I tell them the story, we go out there, we're like looking around, whatever. I look over and where I thought the, I, the, the air pad was, is like this clump of like tissue paper, or tissues or something like toilet paper or whatever. I was like, well, that's not it. So I'm like looking over, he's like, let's look at the other pool. I was like, no, it's, it's my room's right up there. It's, it's, it's gotta be around here somewhere. So we look all over, it's nowhere, right? So I'm so pissed, and Alex is like, I'm so sorry, babe, and I'm like, it's my fault. I go, I should've put them in my pocket. I don't know why I didn't put them in my pocket. I thought, you know, whatever. So, I'm like so stressed about it laying in bed last night, right? I'm like so stressed about it, and I, um, I wake up. Oh, this is what happened. I am not, it was, I left one AirPod. Do you remember that somewhere? Anyway, that's why I get the new AirPods. That was not even that long ago. What was that? The last trip that I took? So, when would that have been? Would that have been Mexico? No. I feel like it was before Mexico. I got off the plane. And went, I don't remember when it was, but anyway. So, <clears throat> I finally fall asleep, right? And I wake up today. And for some, it, like, there was like a notification. <clears throat> from like, you know, like I have all my devices on my like find a phone and stuff. Yeah, after the iPad incident, trust me, I have everything hooked up. So that will never happen again to me. So, and this is why it's so weird that this happened because I am so careful with this stuff. I mean, so careful. So I, um, and I still have the beats that Alex like gave me, but like they fall out of my ears. Like, I mean, literally if I go like the woman, so we went to the Apple store tonight cause I got another pair of them and, um, 
because I wear them literally every night, watching shows in in the Ubers, on the plane, sitting outside in the front porch. I mean, I probably use AirPods more than anybody that I know, and the beats fall out of my ears. So we went to the Apple store tonight. The woman at the store, she was so nice. She was like, "You need bigger things." for your beads to keep them in your ears. I like the I like the AirPods better anyway, but I bring both of them always anywhere. So I get this morning, I have a notice on my phone about where that AirPod is. It's like five minutes away on the side of the water in a park. So Alex is like, well, it was really windy last night. <clears throat> so they probably blew in the wind into the river and they washed up to the side of the river. I'm like, how is that even possible if that happened? But that's where it was. So. I didn't even bother to go find it. There was nowhere. I know people are gonna be like, you didn't go to the park. No, it was in a park. <laughs> like if the intercoastal had taken it and gone, and there was no way I was gonna be able to find this AirPod. It was just like, whatever. And it probably wouldn't have even worked at that point anyway. So that was my excitement for the day. So anyway, we checked out and um, came right over here and we were able to check in right away. So checked in and then we went right down to the beach it was really cloudy today. Can you guys see I got some sun? I actually got some sun on my chest and stuff. Look at that. It was really cloudy today. Alex didn't get in the water. I got in the water twice and got in the ocean. It was like really shallow all the way out. Like, I mean, literally like a foot shallow, like sandbar all the way out. It was really nice. And I listened to an hour of The Firm. And then I read, I started reading my new book that I bought called About Ed. And then we laid out there for a bit. Alex listened to music and stuff. He was so, I don't know, he was so tired. He was like, this weekend really beat my ass. So we came back and then we went to Walgreens. We got a bunch of snacks and stuff. And then we came back here. So we didn't have to spend a bunch of money on the beach. We're like, we can take, I can take down my like Diet Dr. Peppers and he can take down the White Claws and we don't have to like buy them for, you know, $15 a pop, you know, on the bar tab or whatever down on the beach. So, um, so yeah, so, uh, and then we, tonight we went to dinner. I think this place was called, I took a picture of, a, of the menu and put it on my Instagram. Isabella's or something like that. It was real cute. Alex was really hungry for um, Italian food. So we went to this place and um, it was really cute. It was like white, white marble tables on the Lincoln Road. And we ate at, um, I think it was called Isabella's. Alex had, um, Oh, so we got a caprese salad and split it because Alex was really hungry for a caprese salad. Probably one of the best caprese salads I've ever had in my life. The mozzarella cheese on it was really good. And then Alex got lasagna and he brought half of it back. And I got this penne with this like cream sauce and it was delicious. Chef's kiss, it was absolutely delicious. At first I was like, there's real small portions. I'm real hungry. It was like perfect. I was like just full enough and we left. And then I wanted to kind of get ice cream afterwards. They have always cute ice cream shops all over Miami, but in Gelato, I'm not, I know there's not really a, di a big difference, but I really like ice cream, ice cream. And so I want to get like an ice cream cone. All these people, all these couples will walk around, but I was like so full, I was like, no, I'm not gonna get an ice cream cone. So, um, yeah, and then after dinner, we went to the Apple store. Alex wanted to get some stuff there too that he had to get. So, um, and we were looking at, I, I need to get a new computer. I looked at my laptop the other day and like I know a lot of YouTubers that get like a new laptop like every other year. <laughs> rich people, rich people YouTubers, and they have like those like four computers. Like most YouTubers that I know have like three and four computers. They have like the desktop and the laptop. I have one computer. And I looked the other day because I was like, I need to get another computer. Like it's really slow. And I was like, but I've been like putting it off forever. And I was like, it's a MacBook Air. It's like 13 inch MacBook Air. And I was like, what year is this? And I looked. It's 2017. I think I bought it in 2017 going into 2018 or right, I don't know, right maybe at the beginning of 2018. I didn't realize I had had it that long. So this spring or summer, I'm gonna have to get a new computer. But anyway, so Alex and I were looking at stuff. He was looking at iPads because he wants to get a new iPad for work and stuff like that. Are you ready? Oh, he's ready to watch the show. So um, he's got it all set up. So anyway, um, so yeah, and then we came back here. Oh, and then we stopped at Walgreens on the way back. And um, I got the soap and stuff like that. And then we sat in the bar lobby and he had a glass of wine and I had a Diet Coke. And now we're up here and now I'm vlogging. And yeah, it's gonna be a relaxing few days. 
I love how my hair gets like really, really white when I'm out in the sun. That is the one thing I like about having white hair. But it's been really fun so far. It feels like we've been down here forever. It feels like we've been down here forever. So, all right, you guys. I'm going to get off here now. And um, I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday. My husband's turning off the lights. That means it's time for television. And I always got it all queued up and everything. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya!